Summary of Salvage the Bones by Jessman Ward Esh, who is 15 years old, is there when her elder brother Skeeta's prize fighting dog, China, gives birth to a litter of puppies. She is giving birth to her first litter, and the labor is hard and challenging. Esh and Skeeta's seven-year-old brother, Junior, can't wait to watch. But they try to keep him away from the show. Their dad believes Junior is big enough to see it. Earlier that day, Daddy woke up Esh and her brothers to tell them that a storm was coming and that they needed to start getting ready. Hurricanes are a big deal in the Mississippi Gulf town where Esh and her family live. When the puppies are born, some of them live and some die. Soon, there will be five puppies in all. When Esh goes to bed at night, she thinks about her crush, Manny, who is a friend of her brother's and sometimes sleeps with her. Esh is crazy about Greek mythology because she read a book about it in school. She believes that her love for Manny will be just as great and terrible as the love between Jason and Medea. She builds a kennel for the puppies the next day while Esh looks for chicken eggs in the yard. She is thrilled when Skeeta takes her into the shed in the back to show her the puppies feeding. When Esh sees China's huge breasts, he runs outside and throws up. Skeeta, Esh, and Randall's oldest brother, Big Henry, comes over later in the afternoon to take them into town to get dog food. Skeeta picks out an expensive bag of food at the grocery store, while Esh steals a pregnancy test. Big Henry is on his way home when he sees a man who is bleeding and a woman who is asleep. They have just been in a major car accident. He calls the cops and waits with the couple until help comes. Esh gets lost on the way home, so she locks herself in the bathroom with the test and finds out that she is pregnant. She knows the baby is Manny's. The next morning, Esh wakes up sick. She goes to the bathroom, throws up, and then goes back to bed to sleep some more. She reads about Jason and Medea in her mythology book for a while when she wakes up a second time. She can relate to Medea, whose heart was stolen by a man against her will. Skeeta is angry and comes to the door. He takes Esh outside to the shed and shows him one of China's pups that is sick with parvo, a type of dog virus that spreads very easily. China doesn't want to feed the sick puppy when Skeeta tries to get her to, so she barks loudly and walks away. It's up to Skeeta to keep the puppy safe and away from the rest of the litter until it dies. Later that night, Skeeta and his friends are going to hang out in the woods. Esh spends the rest of the afternoon with him getting things from home and going on squirrel hunts in the woods. Randall, Manny, Skeeta, Esh, and Big Henry and Marquise, two friends of her boys, hang out in the woods that night and eat squirrel sandwiches. Even though Randall and Esh beg him not to, Skeeta snaps the puppy's neck and then jumps into a diving hole to wash off the parvovirus. Everyone else jumps in the pond, too. Esh tries to hit on Manny but he turns her down. Esh is not sure if she will ever be able to tell him about the baby. The next day, Esh finds Skeeta in the other house on the pit. It's an empty house that used to belong to their mom's parents. Their mother passed away seven years ago while giving birth to Junior. The house is now empty. It's only used by Esh and her brothers to find groceries and tools. Skeeta wants to use the carpeting from the old house to make a floor in the shed so that the other puppies don't get sick from the dirt. He can sell them for $200 each when they are six weeks old, so he really wants to keep them living so he can get the money. Skeeta asks Esh to go on an adventure with him. He wants to steal cow wormer from a barn on a nearby farm owned by white people. Rico, Manny's cousin, also fights dogs. Rico told Skeeta that cowwormer will get rid of parvo in dogs and keep them from getting other bugs. But Esh and Skeeta find out that Randall, Big Henry, and Junior have followed them when they reach the edge of the woods. Randall tries to talk Skeeta out of breaking into the barn, but Skeeta offers to send Randall to basketball camp with the money he makes from the puppies. This makes Randall feel good, and he agrees to keep watch. Skeeta gets into the barn but the house owners drive up in their truck with a dog in the back while he's still inside. Randall sounds the warning, and everyone runs through the woods. Esh tries to keep up, but it's hard for him. Skeeta gets out of the barn and runs home with the others, but the dog follows them. 
When Skeeta gets home, she puts China on the white people's dog and hurts it badly. The hurt dog turns around and runs through the trees to get home. Skeeta asks Esh first thing in the morning why she ran so slowly the day before. Esh lies and says she was just tired. Skeeta cut himself while climbing out of the barn window, and she helps him heal them. When he leaves the bathroom, she throws up in the sink. Esh looks at her body in the mirror and notices that it is slowly changing. She chooses to wear clothes that don't fit too tightly and keep her secret for a little while longer. Manny and Skeeta are talking about a dogfight that is coming up in the yard. Skeeta wants to fight China but doesn't want to fight her herself so that no one in the group forgets how strong she is. Mandy says China will be weaker now that she has a child, but Skeeta says she will be stronger because she has something to guard. Esh and Junior help Skeeta and Manny feed China the cow wormer that they mixed up. The next morning, Esh wakes up to the sound of her dad destroying the old chicken coop in the yard. He wants to take it apart to get wood that they can use to board up the house's windows. On the other side of the shed, China is tired and weak, and Skeeta is afraid that Manny gave him bad advice on purpose to do that. Esh, Junior, and Skeeta take China to the park for a long walk in the afternoon. Skeeta wants China to sweat off the medicine. Another boy named Manny is playing basketball with Randall and some other boys at the park. The game is being watched by Manny's girlfriend, Shalia, and Esh is very sad and jealous. When we got home that night, Daddy was still working on the coop. He told us that the storm that was coming was called Katrina. Daddy asks Randall and Junior to help him use the tractor to knock down the coop, but something goes wrong when a wire gets caught in the grill. When Daddy tries to remove the wire from the front of the tractor, his hand gets stuck. As the tractor starts to slide down the slight slope toward the coop, Daddy yanks his hand free and loses three fingers on his left hand. At the same time, China, who is tired, kills one of her pups when it gets too close to her food bowl inside the shed. After her dad's accident, Esh brings him breakfast and helps him take his medicine in the morning. He is watching TV footage of the storm. Katrina is moving northwest across Florida and doesn't seem to be stopping. The next day, Randall has a basketball game, so everyone gets ready to leave, leaving Daddy to sleep at home. When Esh goes to the bathroom during the game to go to the bathroom, Manny is already there waiting for her. They have sex after he tells her he's been thinking about her. When Manny touches Esh on the stomach, he learns she is pregnant. He feels sick to his stomach and leaves her crying in the bathroom. Esh finally gets up the courage to go back outside. She goes over to the stands to join her family. Rico, Manny's cousin, is bothering Skeeta about China's puppies. Rico wants one, but Skeeta doesn't want to offer Rico one because there aren't many puppies left. Rico starts a fight with Skeeta to show who is boss. Down on the court, Randall's coach kicks him out of the game when he sees that Randall's family has made a disturbance. Marquise, Skeeta's friend, offers to settle the score between Rico and Skeeta by pitting his dog boss against Rico's dog Kilo. If Kilo wins, Rico gets a puppy, but if boss wins, Rico doesn't. Reef and Skeeta both agree to the bet's terms. The next night, Esh and her boys leave early and walk through the woods to the fight site. China is clean and beautiful now that Skeeta has washed her. A few other boys are also fighting with their dogs. Soon, Rico's dog and Marquise's dog will be going head to head. The dogs aren't strong enough to win, so the fight is bloody and awful. Skeeta is eager to settle the score, so he chooses to fight China instead of calling a draw. There are many pleas for him not to, but Skeeta is set on doing it. When China and Kilo, the dog that sired her puppies, finally fight, China holds her own, even though one of her teats is badly hurt. China wins when she rips out part of Kilo's throat. Rico calls for the fight to end. The next morning, Daddy is sick. He has been drinking even though his hand medicine told him not to, and all he can do is lie in bed. They are getting ready for the storm that is going to hit Louisiana soon, so Daddy tells Randall and Esh what they need to do. When Esh goes to get Junior's help, he finds him standing in Daddy's room. 
They get into a fight, and Junior admits that he took Daddy's wedding ring off of one of his cut fingers sometime between the accident and now. Junior throws the ring at Esh and then hides under the house until Randall comes and gets him. Junior says he wanted the ring because their mother gave it to their dad and he never knew her. Esh and Randall are still getting ready for the storm, but Big Henry takes Skeeta to the store to get groceries. Skeeta comes back with two big bags of dog food and not many canned goods. He tells them that almost nothing was left on the shelves and tells them that they can all eat dog food from China if things get really bad. Randall and Esh find that they don't have enough food for five people as they sort it. Daddy tells them that if things get really bad, FEMA and the Red Cross will give them food. Until then, they'll have to be content with what they have. There are boards on the house, and Randall and Esh teach Junior how to look for eggs in the grass. Once they find a bunch, they put them in a pot and boil them. Manny comes over to talk to Randall, but Esh talks to him first. He calls her a slut and says she sleeps with every boy who comes to the pit when she tells him she is pregnant with his child. Manny gets Esh to attack him, but she is thrown off and left to cry in the dirt. Esh is sad that even though Medea told Manny she was mad, she hasn't been able to get him to love her or even notice her. Randall walks up to Esh and tells her that they need to go back to the white people's house to find supplies. When they get there and break through the boarded up windows, they find that the house is empty and bare. When they get back to the house, Daddy tells them that the storm has grown to a Category 5. When Daddy says no, Skeeta threatens to sleep outside with the dogs during the storms if Daddy doesn't let him bring China and the puppies inside. Daddy finally gives in. The night before the storm, Esh and her brothers sleep in the living room. Esh reads stories to calm herself down because she is afraid for her baby's life. The sky is still dark in the morning, and Esh goes to check on Skeeta and China. There is a terrible noise a few seconds after China barks at the sky. When they go out into the hall, they see that Daddy's room's ceiling has fallen in. Skeeta, Daddy, and the dogs move into the living room. Everyone sits down and enjoys the sound of the wind. Randall soon finds out that the floor is wet. Water is coming fast toward the house when Esh looks out the window. The first floor soon floods, so everyone goes to the attic for safety. But after a while, the attic starts to flood too. Randall and Skeeta quickly cut a hole in the ceiling so that everyone can get out. Skeeta suggests that they climb an oak tree to get to their grandparents' empty house. Her father tries to get Esh to jump off the roof and onto the tree when she doesn't want to, but Skeeta tells her that Esh is pregnant. Esh and Skeeta try to get to the house first and open a window, but Esh trips and falls into the fast-moving water with the puppies. Two of them get washed away and Esh saves one by putting it into her shirt, but it dies. China swims off into the trees to find the other two puppies. This time, she doesn't listen to Skeeta's calls. Everyone makes it to the other house, but Daddy is hurt, Junior is scared, and Skeeta is sad because he lost China. Skeeta knows he needs to go after China once the water level drops. As soon as it gets to waist high, he climbs down from the attic and wades into the woods, even though his family tells him not to. When the water level drops even more, it gets dark, and Esh and her family walk barefoot down the road to Big Henry's house to stay safe. A lot of friends and neighbors are getting together at Big Henry's. The house has damage to the roof but is otherwise fine. He gets his dog Lala and goes to find Skeeta. He comes back after finding him, but he says he couldn't get Skeeta to leave the pit. Esh tells Daddy that she is indeed pregnant. He tells her they'll see a doctor to make sure everything is okay once things calm down. Big Henry asks Esh, Randall, and Junior if they'd like to drive through town and look at the damage. What they see shocks them. Businesses, schools, and homes have been destroyed, trucks have been flipped over, and the homes and buildings closest to the beach seem to have disappeared into thin air. The group finds what's left of a booze store and digs through the wreckage to find drinks for Daddy. Big Henry walks up to Esh and tells her that he heard her and Daddy talking back at the house. He then asks her who the baby's dad is. Big Henry tells Esh that her baby has plenty daddies, 
which means that her baby has himself, Randall, and Skeeta. This makes Esh feel better, and Big Henry drives everyone back to the pit, where Skeeta has cleared away the trash, gathered what he could find of China's things, and built a fire. Skeeta refuses to go back to Big Henry's, even for the night, even though Randall begs him to. He is sure that China is coming home and promises to wait for her without fail. Skeeta, Esh, Randall, Big Henry, and Junior sit around the fire with Skeeta. Esh lets herself believe that China will come back and recognize her as a fellow mother when she does. About the author Jessmine Ward was born in a town in Mississippi that is right on the Gulf of Mexico. She got her BA and MA from Stanford University and then her MFA in Creative Writing from the University of Michigan. While Ward's first book, Where the Line Bleeds, got good reviews, it was her second book, Salvage the Bones, that made her famous in the literary world. The story of Hurricane Katrina in the book won a lot of praise in the prestigious National Book Award for Fiction in 2011. Ward was a Stanford University Stegner Fellow and a successful author of fiction, memoir, poems, and critical nonfiction. In 2017, he was awarded the MacArthur Genius Grant. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.